Owning a home is the American dream. We want your home buying process to go as smoothly as possible. There are some common mistakes that could potentially be made by first time home buyers and yes, even repeat buyers. Hi, my name's Alicia Collins with Remax The Group and the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team. We'd love for you to hit subscribe and be alerted when we have other content that we post about Cal. Mistake number one, falling in love with a house that you aren't able to buy. It's not in your price range. It is so important to get requalified before you even start to look. You might be surprised to learn quite often you may qualify for more than you would like to spend or would be comfortable making the payment on a house. Figure out what you can realistically handle for a monthly payment and do not for any reason go over that. When you find the home of your dreams, double check the payment total with your lender. The lender can send a cost estimate sheet that explains what your total estimated payment will be. That payment should include the principal, the interest, along with property taxes, estimated hazard insurance, as well as mortgage insurance if you have to have it. Sometimes this is referred to as a cost estimate sheet. The cost estimate sheet will also show what your estimated closing costs will be, as well as what money you need to have on hand to bring to closing. Mistake number two, being distracted or overwhelmed by decor. This actually could go either way. The home could look like it was professionally decorated and gorgeous, or the home could be outdated, including older furniture, and make the space look worse than it really is. Walking in with an open mind and a vision for what you would want the space to look like is really important. This is an area where you might have a conversation with your real estate agent about what your style is. Knowing what type of property you want and what you need. Do you want a huge modern living space with room for lots of furniture, an open concept, or do you want a small separated space? You may walk into an outdated or cluttered home and actually it has the space you need, but you're distracted by the clutter and miss the possibility of this property being the one that you love. So let's have a conversation. Mistake number three, not looking for potential problems as you are touring properties. What is the roof like? Is it T-lock or architectural? Look at the electrical box. What about the lighting? Does every light have a fixture over it or just a light bulb? Are the electrical outlets two prong or three prong? Does it have air conditioning or a swamp cooler? What about a dishwasher? Are all of the appliances included? What is the condition of the neighboring properties? Are they similar to the home you're considering? Are the yards and homes well maintained? Walking around the outside of the property, do you notice negative or positive drainage around the house? Does the home have gutters and downspouts? Or does it look like water may run off the roof right next to the foundation? Is the paint in good condition? Your agent might be pointing out problems if they see them as well. Of course, a home showing is not an inspection, which is why the contract allows time for inspections. I believe you should always consult an expert, but you yourself should be looking for problems as you go. Make notes on the property sheet your agent gives you. You may see several homes and you want to be clear which property appeared to need what. You may notice items that in reality need to be inspected by a professional. Which leads me to buyer mistake number four, not having inspections done by a qualified professional. I have heard time and time again that money is tight to get in a house. Many times buyers may want to skip over inspections. As a home buyer, you do have the right and the responsibility as per the contract to have an inspector look at the home during the inspection period. Having those important inspections, which may cost a few hundred dollars, could save you from making a huge mistake in purchasing a property. Many times sellers may have indicated to us that they have recently completed work on a home. For an example, let's use a roof. Knowing that, a buyer may elect not to have a roof inspection. Now, this inspection generally only costs around $75, where a roof could run anywhere from five to $10,000, sometimes more. I had this exact scenario recently with a home buyer I was working with. Thankfully, the buyer decided that in the inspection cost was minimal and it would be worth it getting the two-year-old roof checked by a professional. As it turned out, the house needed an entire new roof. Whew. As a realtor, I am trained to market and sell real estate. I am not a home inspector. So it is important that you use a professional. Click the link in this post to download our home inspection checklist. Number five, not understanding what you are signing or doing during the home buying process. 
A home purchase contract is a legal document. When an offer is made, numerous items are addressed, such as price, terms, items included in the purchase price, etc. When you get ready to make an offer, and most importantly, before you sign it, it is very important that you make sure you read and understand what you are signing. The agent should walk you through the entire contract and explain it to you, and give you a chance to clarify anything you don't understand. Ask as many questions as you can throughout the process. Helping you understand and helping you find the answers to your questions is part of a real estate agent's job. Do not just sign the contract digitally without reading and understanding the important dates and terms mentioned and the effects of the contract. There are dates such as inspection deadlines and repair request deadlines, as well as dates that specify the amount of time either you or the seller has to respond by or you very well may be taking the property in as is condition with no repairs made. As you go through the process, make sure you are talking to your agent and your lender at least once per week. Most likely, you will talk to your agent much more than that. Contact and use an experienced agent that has the skill and knowledge to walk you through the home buying process so that you have a great experience. Please reach out to us with any questions you might have. Don't forget to download our home inspection guide. As always, we want you to love where you live. See you soon.